everyone. My name is Chloe Harris. Hello, my name is John Puiga. Hi, I'm Mary Rose. I do miss campus a lot. I miss my friends. Staying as busy as I can with my loving but annoying family. Definitely the pandemic has been a little stressful and a little crazy. 2,000 miles away from the nearest person that I knew. So having at least like the church and like the familiar routine is very comforting. Feeling like someone at Mass cared about me being there. Definitely one of the best experiences and most important things to me at Stanford overall. Sophomore year can be sort of this time of feeling like the community you had built freshman year is ripped out from under you. I had sort of found myself turning more and more to God than I had throughout so much of the past year. And I found myself feeling guilty, like, oh my gosh, I only really try to deepen my faith or turn to God when I need Him. It took that message of welcoming of reassuring me, of helping me absolve myself of this guilt that I had been carrying. Realizing that either a lot of them never had that community and were too scared to initiate it, or they were also just looking for that community. Maybe taking that one step outside of your comfort zone is enough to like bring somebody else into their comfort zone. Creating a small group with Andrea has been wonderful. Just learn the ways in which everyone else is sort of building up a faith life for themselves. I really wanted to be a part of creating that space. I thought about how wonderful it would be to have a freshman program that I could help plan so that I could make freshmen feel welcome in a way that I felt like I missed out on. I had one small group member share. She literally stops and smells the roses. That is something I started doing. I would walk around and just literally stop on my way to class to smell the roses and there's so much beauty and like happiness around you. We were talking about how we couldn't get communion and how we were missing out on Jesus. One of the freshmen in my small group said, but Jesus is always inside of us. It changed my perspective and it made me rethink where Jesus is and where I am in a really wonderful way.